Hi, it's Craig Metrich for VideoCelebrityNews.com and if you missed the intro, go to Facebook.com forward slash Metrovich, M-E-T-R-O-W-I-C-H. We had a wonderful intro and this is the uncut, raw, unedited, extended version and if you wait till the end, they're going to do a little bit of a dance for us as well. Eh? That's going to be super exciting. Let's get into the interview. In the intro, we mentioned your journey on how you guys got together on how Alexi selected Michelle. We're also going to reveal in this a story for the first time shared to do with the challenges that Michelle has gone through in her journey to win the Golden Buzzer. I'm very proud of both of you. Golden Buzzer winners, that is a highlight in anybody's career. But I know that this is the start of your journey. Let's talk about the leading up to winning. SA's Got Talent and the Golden Buzzer. Set the tone. How long did it take you to prepare? What does it take? What type of food do you need to eat? I want, I want detail. Give us the detail. Okay. Fish out the detail. So, um, Alexi always has this way of pushing me to do things that at the time I feel I really don't want to do. And yeah. then once I'm doing it, I realize I really do want to do it. <laughs> so, you, so you say, no, no, no. Then you thank him. Yes. And then I say, da, you are right. <laughs> So, um, Essay's Got Talent, um, you had to do a pre-audition. Um, what is that audition process like? Is it like one person, ten people, a hundred oh, people? Oh, wow. It's queues and queues and queues wow, and queues. Okay. It's what, what you see on idols, people queuing out the door. You've got to so, that's there. legit. Yeah, they don't yeah, go yeah, like yeah. add up a whole lot of people. It's oh, like no, a, it's a huge amount of people. That is what happens. Okay. You're there 5 a.m. in the morning. You're standing in the queue. Everyone's dancing on top of each other. It's, it's extreme. They're all rehearsing, all practicing. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Then you and get your moment. They, they don't give you any feedback. They just film you and then they just say, oh, thank you. Oh, and so hang on. <laughs> so when we see it, okay, I see it as a viewer. I thought, okay, there's this whole process. But that makes sense because they've got to go through so many different people. Mm -hmm. And then they really get, need to cut to the chase and say you made it or didn't make it. Yeah. When you heard, Alexia, when you heard that you made that part, what, what happened next? Tell me. So were you guys like, well, we've made it. You couldn't believe it. How does it feel? That you made that first selection process. Uh, it was, it, yeah, it was um, quite, yeah, quite surprising. We we didn't know what to expect because, yeah, like Michelle mentioned, it was thousands of people, and you you don't know, like you don't know what they're looking for. It's like reality shows. It's it's um, it's. Uh, and there's no absolute, take two, take three. Do you get yeah. one take? Explain that to me. Do you get like one take? Or literally they, one take. Yeah. Literally. So, oh. Yeah. Okay. So you can't go and then go. Hang on. I'm. Listen. Take three and take three. No, they record. No. 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 It, was okay. a, it was a very, a very like an awkward situation because you just sitting like you're performing in front of the camera. And right. That's it. Thank you. Oh. Very okay. Much. So you're not like performing with people. And, no. and that's it. And that's. Uh, but the selection apparently happened like that. So that's. And uh, you're leaving that room and like not knowing what's going on, so you're just sitting and waiting. Like, for well, like two months, hey? They yeah, took two, two months. Two months. You don't know what happened. Yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay. You know, because I mean, obviously, as a viewer, I watch it. You go in. I, I imagine if you like, kind of like you're nervous. They say, okay, try again. Is oh, no, no, no. This <laughs> is hardcore, eh? Yeah. yeah. So that just to put that into perspective, that sets the tone as well as to what it takes to be a superstar at their level. It takes the drive. The can do, the not giving up, the tenacity, which will link to your character and some of your story you're going to share with us. But the fact is, it's not glamorous, am I right, at that stage? There's no, not glamour. No, 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 yeah. Okay, no. okay. So this, the glamour is leading up to that event. So let's mm. get to that. Let's set the stage now. You're, on, you're going to go on stage. There's lights, there's action, there's a panel of judges. Tell us how that feels. Uh, tell me about the intensity. I want to feel that intensity. It was beautiful. We couldn't wait to go perform. I mean, that's uh, that's what we do. That's what we love. We love to to perform and dance, be on the stage, be seen. So, we are both professional dancers, and uh, that's what we do for a living. That's that's like sharing your art. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So we, we, yeah, you, you you're nervous because you we we never done anything like that. Uh, but yeah, we sort of went there to kill it, and, and, <laughs> and you look it, and, and you do. Yeah, they, they appreciate that, and that. that but <laughs> yeah. what's but, so funny though is on the day at, at the at the Baxter, the theatre round, right. um, they do little interviews with you as a couple, um, and then while they were doing the interview, they said uh, they said to us. 
Oh, so what do you guys think about this um, this golden buzzer? Um, so then he goes, <laughs> "What is this golden buzz? <laughs> uh, what is the golden buzzer?" I thought, I was actually, I'm at that stage, beautiful, I'm beautiful, beautiful. Like, yeah, I couldn't like understand what what, what, are what they he's like? saying. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So that's like being at a beauty contest, yeah. like Miss Universe, Miss Universe, and it's the the question is, yeah. you know, yeah. where is your own country? And you go blank. Yeah. <laughs> but in your cases, the golden buzzer. Okay, just so you know is for a person like me who's a fan of the show is it's the thing it's like winning the gold medal for let's say the olympics you know it's you made it you qualified or from a country point of view is you've made it and you've got your western province colors then your springbok colors and that is an indication that you've got what it takes to be potentially the winner the superstar it also means you go straight to the semi-final so you cut exactly. out a whole round exactly. of, of um, eliminations yeah and so, so it's not only the fact that you get this recognition it does help with your path to getting yeah. to potentially make it to the end yeah. yeah yeah so i think a big round of applause for oh you can join me on this one i want you to join me a big round of applause for, <laughs> to the fans and to you because eh? you've got to have fans as well to keep it all going more questions around okay so let's go to the evening you're now being given the golden buzzer, which is a phenomenal experience. But there's a private secret that you had that you're sharing for the first time in this interview, which I really do appreciate, that you had a secret which is now being shared. And you had a challenge as a couple, right, a dance couple, professional couple. Michelle, share with us that challenge because that's also brought us together. What was the challenge? What was happening? So, so... Um it was actually this at, not at the golden buzzer round. It was yeah. actually later. It was at the semi-final, which is which to be in my mind is even more intense yeah. because you've made the golden buzzer, boom, you've got it. Now you're at the semi-finals, so there's an expectation now. Remember, I've seen you get a golden buzzer. Yeah. There's an expectation. Tell us more. Um, so yeah, like I said in the live interview, we we now received the news. Um, so we knew we wouldn't be able to, even if we got to the final, we wouldn't right. actually be able to do it. Um, so and you're in the semi-finals, and, you know, Alexi had a conversation with me, by the way, before this interview even materialized, and he said, Craig, there's some really amazing uh, characteristics about Michelle that if Michelle's willing, it'd be great for her to share that. So let's get to that private, the secret that you're sharing in the interview. What happened with your journey medically? Something was going to happen the next day. Do you want to tell us, Alexi? Uh, yeah, I don't, <laughs> hey? I don't tell us? Because I know I get emotional when you want to share this with me. Yeah. You don't want to, I was on that stage who was like holding his hand and, and took her into a live TV and live performance and knowing that next next morning she she's going to have to be on the operation table. That's like frightening. We, 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 we can not yeah. even think about real performance. I mean, we have yeah. to give it all. And then we did. Uh, but it, the mindset was somewhere else because like she's a, as my friend. I'm, I, was, I was supporting her and you know, like she gave it up so much to mm. get there and then to, to showing those strengths like, yes, I will be doing it. Is that real warrior in her? Was, I love that know. wording, warrior. So Michelle, that's it. To us, you're a warrior. To be diagnosed with a potentially life-threatening situation, to go out there and compete at the highest level, to know the next day you're going to go into an ICU, intensive care. Just tell us, it was a previous situation. How long ago were you diagnosed? And share with the audience what are we talking about? Because the mystery is still there. What happened? What, what operation did you have? Tell us about that. So I had a full craniotomy, which is where they cut you from ear to ear. They take your face off. Uh, literally, they, they like flap it. I know about that. I'll tell you why. Um, and then they removed um, three millimeters of brain uh, or brain tumor. You see, let's be humorous. When I had my skull tumor diagnosed, which is over here, I knew I always had an issue that probably I had too much fun in me. And I think to bring me back to normality, they want to remove some of the fun. <laughs> so in your case, maybe they thought you were too talented, you know, and they then had to remove something, which is serious. So you were diagnosed with a brain tumor. Am I right to say that? Yeah. Yes. And they have re removed it successfully. Is it successful? Is it partial? No, it's successful. Yeah. And then okay. um, I spent eight months having chemotherapy after that. Um, but I've... 
I performed. I performed actually ten days after my craniotomy. Like we did a we did a strength act together. Um, I mean that is so. That is warrior again, eh? Alexi. That's warrior. Yeah, it's warrior or is it? I don't know. Is it sanity or insanity? Okay, let's, let's put it that way. You were in safe hands. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> except fact, because you do all the throwing, the lifting, and the. In, but that must. Have, let's, let's get to you because I don't want to leave you out of this as well. But that must also emotionally put you under a different sense of um, commitment and responsibility. Because yeah, you've got a person who is obviously an athlete, dancer, strong in her own right. But you knew that none of us knew this, by the way. None of us knew this. You knew that she'd gone through this medical challenge. So when you threw her, you had a different sense of responsibility. Mm, okay. So answer the question. How did that feel? Did you, the question is, did you feel a different sense of responsibility? Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. That, that was it. It's, it's just, uh, you know, like, it feels like everything yeah. up to you, up, 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 to, up to me. Like, if I do something wrong... I'm Correct. playing with her life, you know? Yes, and then, yes. But, but you see that the trust and commitment when That's all what I can say. So let's bring this back to business, okay? Because I'm a business coach and an inspirational speaker, and I want to connect it for you from a business point of view. So let's talk about that. I'll talk about skills. The skill is your dancers, right? Yes. There's training involved. You had to go through, let's say, the ballet, the classic. That's the skills you need. Yeah. The next level is called EQ. Emotional quotient, which is attitudes. Both of you have abundance of the right type of attitudes. And we can go with not just positives, it's driven, it's can do, it's tenacity, it's never giving up, it's uh, having belief in each other. But your real attitude to me is you got a warrior attitude. And I've never mentioned that in an interview. So for me, that's a, I'm going to remember that. A warrior attitude is what you need. Not worrying, but a warrior attitude. Then the next thing you look at is spiritual quotient. Okay, that is having a purpose. Michelle, do you have now a crystal clear new purpose in your life after everything you've been through? Absolutely. Yeah. And Alexia, has she brought into your life a new purpose? Absolutely. Of course. Hey, have you guys got laser, like what I call it, it's like almost laser vision focus about living life, experiencing life. When, you, hey? when you're in a situation like that, you definitely reconsider all your visions on your, on your life. You literally, yeah, it it's makes you to think twice. What actually, before you get grumpy, to think, why? why What's it to be grumpy why? about? <laughs> Come on! Yeah, so it's a much more, much more challenge in, in the world happening than, than just your grumpiness. So, <laughs> so, so let's just add to that. The next level is called PQ. Okay, it's for, called physical quotient, which is the action side. And, and in your career, it's a vital part of your business. Is that how do you collect, how do you get sponsors? Action. How do you get um, sponsorship going to overseas to the world championships? Proposals. How do you get to be uh, acknowledged? You do interviews like this, a live interview, followed by an uncut interview. All great, fantastic, winning actions. You guys have got that, eh? I'm telling you, you've got winning actions. Because this interview was done together quickly, no procrastination, let's make it happen. The energy is right, all action stuff. The next element is called ZQ. It's called zero quotient. And the zero quotient is procrastination or putting things off or having excuses. Like we could have said, well, listen, let's do the interview next week. There is no next week, people. There is no tonight or tomorrow. If you've been through what we've been through, okay, it's now, it's about life, it's about living. It doesn't mean don't plan. Let's talk about the excitement, which is the result, okay? The next element is called RQ, result quotient. Where do you want to take this? There's a big result you want. Let's talk about the journey next year, June, am I right? Yes. June. So the result of everything we're doing together is leading to June next year. What do you want to do next year? So we've had a really amazing opportunity fall into our laps. Um, we've been invited by uh, Blackpool, uh, which is a very, very prestigious dance competition. Um, we on your, in your career, how prestigious? Is that like in my language, is that the Olympics? Uh, th is that the Olympics pretty, of your it's, game? It's pretty much, okay. yeah, because you, yeah. you get in there to, to win the world title. That's what, yeah. that's what we're aiming for. So the world champion title is at this event? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Um, the, the thing is, we do, we do need sponsorship. Um, we, Corporates, they need sponsorship. I thought it was loud enough. Okay. Um, we, Sports South Africa, please get a whole get together. Crowdfunding, we must do that, by the way. 
on the record. We must yeah. do a whole crowdfunding. I want the whole world to give us millions so that I can also go and video you guys. <laughs> I mean, p- picture this. Video celebrity news, Craig Metrovich, I'm putting it out there. I would love to go and do almost like a reality following on this journey. Your training, getting there, competing. A lot of people do do that. It's, it's actually, uh, they do. Yeah. Well, we've got to do it. South yeah. Africa can also do it, right or wrong. Yeah. We don't, we actually, yeah, the, <laughs> the number of rands we're looking for is a reasonable number. Tell us the number. Rands. I like numbers. Um, it's just less than 50,000 So there, it's 50 grand, plus they'll need obviously some TLC. The thing with corporates as well is they'll get this. There is marketability in it. You're two wonderful people. You've got a legitimate, true, uncut, unedited story. And we should see you shine on the World Championships We just want to share this story with the world. We've already started sharing it with South Africa, but we want to take it to another level. And get a golden buzzer, which you now know what a golden buzzer is. Imagine if they, a golden buzzer will now become a gold medal, I think. Am I right? I wonder what they give you there. Probably a gold medal. Eh? Yeah. All right. A little bit more questions. Another question I wanted to ask you is, as a couple and your families and your environment, I know that all sports stars, competitors, people don't see the sacrifice we make. Okay? So I've made a lot of sacrifices for my calling, which is to inspire people. It looks very glamorous. People go, hey, Craig, it's such a glamorous job. Okay, the glamour is y'all when we're together like this. That is fun and it's glamorous. What is the effort required? So tell me about your training routine. What time do you wake up? What time do you work out? Let's talk about the reality of what it takes to be world class. Ah, what it takes. <laughs> Let me tell you, it's, it takes a lot. It takes the consistency of, of uh, uh, call, call time for rehearsals on a regular basis because the stuff what, uh, what we do is... Is that like every day? Do you train every day? Or you three times we time? Yeah, if yeah? we've got something yeah. coming. Yeah. yeah, but we try and... I mean, it's, it's also... It's very, it's very hard on your body. body yeah. So we, you'd like, even if you would want it to do every single day, you just you can't because it's so hard on your body. So we, we're doing this one and a half hour and like non-stoppable practice but right. trying to do like three times three four times a week yeah. and yeah and that's on our own cost on our own time we luckily we have a right great in, in actual fact, let's yeah. mention that yeah i interviewed jory bats and i mean what a, he's just a wonderful guy yeah. i mean that's Absolutely. about it. i mean his business i want his business to do mega successful if it goes global, I'll be even more excited because he's just a wonderful human he being. He saved us so much money. Uh, and I mean, he, uh, he's allowed space. you to yeah. utilize his facilities. I mean, I interviewed him. It was, I mean, he's a special guy. Am I right to say that? Absolutely. And I don't know him personally that well. Eh? So it's not like I'm punting because he's my best mate. But he's professional and he also realizes what it takes, the journey. And yeah. in his interview, by the way, he mentioned to me that, you know, all business people, entrepreneurs, we understand that it's a time where you've got to give back as well. Yeah. Let's talk about giving. And that'll be towards the wrap-up of this interview. My cause is childhood cancer. I mean, and I can't believe you've, yeah. had a, you've had a brain tumor. Okay, I had a skull tumor. Mine wasn't cancerous, but I've been involved with childhood cancer for over a decade. And I volunteer to help the volunteers because, you know, they go through quite a lot traumatically in supporting the, the parents and the kids who are suffering from cancer. And, you know, the kids can teach. I always say, you know, to Chuck, you guys have inspired me so much because you made me value my own life and that giving doesn't always require an abundance of money. That is nice. Let's be blunt. But also you can give your time. So let's talk about some of the giving you, you've ah. done as a couple, so Michelle we, and Alexi. Um, we, we've done performances for Red Cross Children's okay. Hospital. Um, when we were part of Boven Ballet, uh, we also had a day where they invited all the kids. Um, okay, so shout out to Boven Ballet. In the live recording, Sean was online. And, you know, he's an amazing guy as well and also highly talented. And uh, carry on. Um, so they had a day where they invited all the kids that were terminally ill with cancer, sure. which is, I mean, that was hugely emotional, particularly for me, yeah. um, knowing that I have, and, you know, I'm always going to be in remission. Correct. Um, it's always an initial factor. The, yeah. the cancer patients that I've dealt with, and I've interviewed a cancer survivor, and they say we're in remission. They never say we're completely clear. Yeah, you can't yeah. really ever. It's a con- they, yeah. they say it's a continual battle that it you're is. aware of. Yeah. Um, and the charity work. So, what did you guys do there? So, it's we all we did through performing. Um, I mean, isn't that wonderful? So, you're telling yeah. me those the people there saw your talent shine. Yeah. I mean, and that's really a, a wonderful way of giving. It's not only yeah. giving financially, giving things. Well, it's giving the thing that we're the most passionate about. It's sharing that with 
with them. Okay, so can we share now talent to wrap up this love? Uncut. Okay, uncut. Okay, we're going to do now. Right, so I'm going to get up slowly and we're going to show you the talent. So bear with me now. I've just got to disconnect there. I've got the other mic. All right, getting up. Okay, there we go. You're all in. Craig Mitchell for VideoCelebrityNews.com and you're now going to experience some talents. You want to do some stretching. By the way, this is all legal. Okay, she warned me beforehand that the shirt was going to come off. She said, Craig, I'm going to be taking my shirt off. I said, it's fine. <laughs> I said, if you look like that, you can. All right, so just do a bit of stretching while we're here. All right. Okay. Is stretching a very important part of your routine? I imagine it is, eh? It's like any sport. You've got to do your stretching. I'm going to try and get... There we go. It's even better there. I can get you all in. Okay, now I could not do that. <laughs> I was going to say, maybe one or two things I might be able to replicate in my dance routine. Okay, if my daughter watches this, Gila, you can't do all these moves, my baba. You're only five. Okay, that will explain some of them you can and some of them you can't. Okay. Are you ready? Okay, we're going to now just watch, do your thing, share your talents. There's no music, just show us your talents. Oh my gosh, that is absolutely phenomenal. Ladies and gentlemen, if you ever wanted to see talent shine, you now are watching what it takes to be world class. Golden buzzer winners in the semi-finals of SA's Got Talent. Define gravity without a doubt. Whew, my heart, my heart is pulsating here. It's pulse pounding performance. Alexi and Michelle showing you what it takes. Woo! I love that. Well done. Congratulations. This is Craig Metrich with Alexi and Michelle for Video Celebrity News. And they've shared with us blow the kisses. Share the love, share the light, share the talent, share the good news. Love you all.